Hey Mob, earlier this month we headed to the annual Financial Counselling Australia conference in Perth. I caught up with Sharon Edwards, who jointly delivered a breakout session at the conference called Beyond the Bars. Here's a snapshot of what Sharon and the National Community of Practice had to say. The idea for the workshop really came about from a colleague of mine, Natasha Ramsey, who is also a financial counsellor working in the women's prisons in uh, Brisbane area. What we're doing and the reason behind today's session is to introduce the prison and custodial population to this sector. And we really wanted to, um, I guess, invite a conversation and curiosity for not only the financial counselling sector but the broader financial services sector to really stop and think about um, how we are or how we aren't currently supporting people in custody. In terms of the work, um, as you would expect, there's a lot of the same kind of bread and butter, small credit contracts, mortgages and all the rest of it because, as we mentioned, there's financial lives don't stop at the door. Um, but what was new for the work that I wasn't expecting was just the overwhelming need for really basic banking access. I would like access to banking for every prisoner. So many prisoners lose their bank account mm -hmm. when they're incarcerated, whether that's because they've been debanked or whether the account has gone stale. Um, and then they're found without a bank account and <coughs> unable to open one. We then thought we'd try and engage the room and what we did is we asked um, everybody at their tables to think about um, the vulnerable clients that they work with and how we are able to adapt our service delivery and our policies and procedures to be able to be responsive to people's individual needs and their vulnerabilities. What we then did is um, remind people that once somebody goes into custody, they often lose um, any of that support, that responsive support, you know, in terms of them experiencing mental health or being at risk of homelessness. Once somebody comes into prison, they, um, first and foremost, they become known as a prisoner and there's a lot of stigma that becomes attached. It also, a lot of the support often stops at the door. So it was about trying to generate some discussion and reflection. I guess the hope um, that we all had was to inspire others in the room to start to look beyond the bars. You know, just because somebody goes into custody doesn't mean that their financial lives stop at the door. They continue to have mortgages and car loans and personal loans and a need to manage their bank accounts on the daily. We wanted to invite people to be curious and reflective and, and hopefully inspired to start to think about how they too can support people in prison. The developments in this space have been amazing and we really look forward to seeing what else can come over the next few years. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe to ICANN TV One.